As we come to the end of 2015, here are some of the stories we'll remember. January brought the terrorist attack on the French magazine Charlie Hebdo that had lampooned Islam. Thirteen people were killed. Millions would soon rally in Paris saying, Je suis Charlie. Je suis Charlie! Je suis Charlie! In February, ISIS shocked the world again, posting online videos of a captured Jordanian pilot being burned alive, and later the mass beheading of 21 Coptic Christians. We remember March for the crash of a German Wings jetliner. 150 lives were lost when the co-pilot deliberately aimed the plane into the French Alps. In April, a Boston jury convicted marathon bomber Jokar Chernayev. A month later, he was sentenced to death. May saw the Duke and Duchess of Cambridge present their new daughter, Princess Charlotte Elizabeth Diana, to the world. It's beginning to look like I'm not going to get the Tonight Show. I don't think. And David Letterman signed off after 33 years on late night TV. Thank you and good night. I'm always going to be your dad. In June, Caitlyn Jenner, formerly known as Bruce Jenner, and downed a lot of Wheaties, made her debut. And the Supreme Court made same sex marriage a right nationwide. A mile long tunnel provided Mexico's powerful drug lord El Chapo an escape from prison in July. That same month, Pluto was revealed in spectacular photos snapped by a NASA spacecraft. In August, news that Minnesota dentist Walter Palmer had killed Zimbabwe's beloved Cecil the Lion for sport triggered global outrage. The photo of three-year-old Alan Kurdi's lifeless body on the Turkish beach in September quickly became a symbol of the world's indifference to the plight of Syrian refugees. October brought an official end to China's controversial one-child policy, allowing families now to have two children. Islamic terrorists targeted Paris again in November. 130 people would die in multiple attacks, leaving the heart of the French nation badly wounded. And this month, radicalized husband and wife killers would take 14 lives in San Bernardino, California. And two weeks ago, 200 nations met in Paris to adopt the first global pact to combat climate change. <laughs>